Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com on my continuing series on my Monster Linux PC build. Just got a few more items in today, but before I get to that, let's see where we're at right now. So I've already got the Evga 550 watt modular power supply, the Nwin mid tower case, the MSI AMD RX 470 GPU, MSI Z170A gaming motherboard, and then here we got the HP 23 inch IPS display. And today, got something awesome. One here, and then got another right here. So we're gonna see what's in this box, and we're getting that much closer to getting this complete Monster Linux PC build done. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so these two awesome boxes are quite a bit smaller than the other ones so it should be really easy to see what's in here so let's go ahead and open this first one this one's a little bit lighter so I'm not really sure what might be in here being so light okay let's see what's down here hmm okay New egg, new egg, advertisements. Whoa, what do we got there? Oh yeah, that, if you could see that, that is a uh, SSD. It's actually a, let me see, a canvas. I don't know how much space is in here, but absolutely awesome. Definitely need an SSD uh, if you definitely want the best performance on accessing your uh, operating system. I'm not really sure how much space is in here. Let me see if I could see. Uh, it's a, all right. This is 250 gigs, which is a really, really nice size uh, for your operating system and all your applications. So that's one. Let's go ahead and move on to the other box. So this one's a little bit heavier. So see what we got here. And I can't believe how small the SSDs are. I've never used an SSD hard drive. So as you know, I've haven't built a PC, modern PC yet. Whoa, what is this? Wow. That just looks so cool. So this is a cooling fan. It's a cryo rig. Oh man. So this will go on top of the CPU and judging by how heavy this thing is, uh, it's probably going to be pretty heavy duty. Um, and the CPU I'm going to get is probably going to be pretty powerful as well. So let me uh, go ahead and take this out of the box. And this one, I'm going to wait until I actually build the PC to take this out because of the way, you know, it's, I just want that to be fresh just like the monitor. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. Okay, so that opens up really easily. Whoa, you know what? There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I want to take this all out now, but let me see. Oh, wow. That is going to be one beefy, beefy cooling fan. Jeez, that is look crazy. Okay, so judging by this... I'm pretty sure my brother's going to give me a super, super powerful CPU. Yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. And so that's the cooling fan right there and the awesome 250 gig solid drive state. Okay, so after today's unboxing, I'm getting so much closer to getting this monster Linux PC built. So let's recap everything that we've got so far. Got a CPU cooling fan. 250 gig SSD, a modular power supply, GPU, motherboard, mid-tower case, and a 23-inch display. So what is left? What's left is the CPU, the RAM, and the optical drive. And after that, this thing is ready to go. So I really do once again want to thank my brother for selecting all of these and getting a really amazing deal on them. And don't forget, if you wanted to follow my whole journey of my Monster Linux PC build, you could go to my website. I have a blog that I'm basically chronicling my whole journey on this. I'll leave it in the description below. And also, 
uh, check out the whole Linux PC build playlist as well. So if you got a lot of value out of these videos, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. We'll see you in another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.